Thanks for mentioning New Hampshire. Uh, it leads me to my next question, which is that you were in New Hampshire to headline a fundraiser. Uh, so you know what I'm going to ask you now. I know the president says he's running again, and uh, were he not to run, you say you won't run against the current vice president. But if there's a gang of 10 Democrats running for president uh, next time, you almost got to jump in, don't you? Well, let me just say this. I was up there uh, at the request of the state Democratic Party that wanted me to be their featured store. It wasn't just some right. fundraiser. It was really their their party that is seeing really bad things happening from awful gerrymandering, a retrenchment on voting rights, uh, uh, and other challenges that their Republican-controlled legislature, including women's rights. And I went up there to support. And I'm going to be very clear. I think Joe Biden's going to be running for re-election um, uh, with his with his running mate Kamala Harris, and I'm going to be supporting them. Uh, I, I did go up a campaign. I did go up and say, Maggie Hassan, who's a senator from New Hampshire, I said, I'm running for president of her fan club. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I have a lot of work to do. Uh, I just got elected to a six year term. God bless New Jersey. Thank you for giving me the privilege of my lifetime uh, to be a great uh, servant of our state. And I'm going to continue to do that. You mentioned redistricting. That's also uh, a danger for your party in the upcoming elections, not only in New Jersey, in the midterms, not only in New Jersey, but around the country, right? But I don't, I see in New Jersey, I don't see it as a danger. In New Jersey, we have a bipartisan committee that does it. It's mm -hmm. not one political party or another political party. It's done in it, by the parties coming together with a neutral right. arbiter. Other states, it doesn't work that way. It's winner take all. When I was in New Hampshire, when they showed me they just took control of both houses, so now they can completely run the table. The, 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 the amoeba-like thing that they drew to carve out a, a seat that would be packed up, it's really politicians choosing their voters and voters not choosing their elected leaders. And yeah. so th this is a horrible, horrible practice. There are a lot of threats to our country's democracy, the retrenchment of voting rights, gerrymandering, all of this dark money with Koch brothers and others pouring into our elections that's since the citizens united test it's one of the reasons why i was the fourth senator in our country's history to say i'm not taking corporate uh do PAC dollars i'm not taking lobbyist dollars we have to clean up our democracy we have to protect it from all these voting laws going on around the country the gerrymandering going on we're getting to a point where we're looking more and more uh, like a, a, a this democracy where some leaders want to take us into authoritarian territory where they are uh, getting rid of our democratic norms in hopes that they can hold on and seize power.